हेलो एवरीवन यू आर हियरिंग टू प्रोफेसर धनंजय भोगे वेलकम टू दी लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन कैनोमेटिक एनालिसिस ऑफ मैकेनिजम्स यूजिंग ग्राफिकल मेथड्स वन अंडर दिस वी आर स्टडिंग इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर ऑफ रोटेशन मेथड टू डिटरमाइन एंगुलर वेलोसिटीज ऑफ वेरियस लिंक्स इन प्लेनर मैकेनिज्म इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सॉल्व वन सिंपल न्यूमेरिकल ऑन सिंगल स्लाइड क्रैंक चेन टूडे वी विल सॉल्व वन मोर न्यूमेरिकल दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट दिस इज द गिवन मैकेनिज्म विथ ऑल द डायमेंशंस एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ लिंक ए सी इज गिवन एज फाइव रेडियन पर सेकेंड इन क्लॉक वाइज डिरेक्शन एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी ऑफ लिंक ए सी इज गिवन in clockwise direction which is equals to 5 radian per second and you have to determine angular velocity of ternary link bde you have to determine angular velocity of this link so the very first step is to draw the configuration diagram using some suitable scale now since all the dimensions are given in centimeters the range of dimensions is well suitable for A4 size paper, so we'll take scale of one is to one. So we'll write down the scale here. One centimeters equals to one centimeter. So we'll draw the configuration diagram. You have to exactly reproduce the configuration diagram. Preferably, we draw the configuration diagram at the center of the page. So this is my diagram. I'll draw one center line on which point E will lie. We'll draw a line perpendicular to this line on which I will mark point B. So this is point B. Now B E B E is five centimeters. So we'll take a distance of five centimeters in rounder, and this point E lies on a vertical line. Which is separated by distance of two point fifty five centimeters from this vertical line. This line is not required right now. So I will draw this vertical line on which point E will lie, which is at distance of two point fifty five centimeters from previously drawn line. So two point fifty five centimeters. line parallel to the previous line so i have taken distance of 5 cm in rounder be so cut this line to get point e so this is my point e so i will join this To get BE, which is equals to five centimeters. Now BD is three and ED is three. So take a distance of three centimeters in rounder. So from this BD is three. ED is also three. So I have located point D. So let us join this point. This is B D. And this is D E. So this is my ternary link B D E. I will place 
this one slider at point E let me draw a horizontal line through point E and above this line lies point C at one centimeters <coughs> nine centimeters horizontal distance and one centimeter is the vertical distance of point C from point B no, sorry E so from B it is nine centimeters so from B nine centimeters and from E above is one centimeter so here is my point C Now AC is 5 and AD is 6. So I will reproduce the arcs. AC is 5. So this is 5. And AD is 6. I have marked this arc CA now I will mark the arc DA which is equal to 6 cm so here I located the point A so this is point A now let us join these two points CA AD So this completes the configuration diagram using 1 is to 1 scale. So no need to name the pin joints. In ICR we do not require the name of pin joints. We just number the links. So we will start numbering the links starting from fixed link. So we will start numbering the links starting from the fixed link. Sorry, here it is the slider. Here is the slider. At point B is the slider. So let us number fix link as link number one. Link AC as link number two. This as link number three. Ternary link as link number 4 This is slider link number 5 and horizontal slider as link number 6 <coughs> So there are 6 number of links In the next step we draw a circle Freehand circle You can draw it freehand I am drawing it using a rounder now I will divide the circle into number of parts equals to the number of links. There are six number of links, so I will divide the circle into six equal parts. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I will number the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can number these divisions in any sense. I have numbered the divisions in clockwise sense. You can number it in anti-clockwise sense as well. So only thing you will remember that you have to divide the circle into the number of parts equals to the total number of links in the mechanisms. There are six number of links, so we have divided this circle into six equal parts. Now we'll start locating the ICs. So we'll start from link number one. Link number one is connected to link number two using a pin joint. So here is I center I12. We join the corresponding points in the circle. One, two. This line represents I center one, two. Next moving further, link number two is connected to link number three using a pin joint. So this is their common I center I23. I will join the corresponding line in this circle 2 3 
which represents I23. 3 is connected to 4. So this is I34 because this is also a pin joint. So I34. Next moving further, 4 is connected to 5 using a pin joint. So I45 join the line 45. Next 4 is connected to link number 6 using a pin join. So I46 join the line 46 in the circle. This is 46 which represents I46. So next link number 5 is connected to 1 using the prismatic pair. So it's center of rotation of this slider will lie at infinity along a line perpendicular to line of stroke so on this line which is perpendicular to line of stroke of link number 5 lies I center I15 at infinity similarly for this vertical uh, horizontal slider its I center will lie on this line which is perpendicular to the line of stroke of horizontal slider at infinity. So I16 at infinity. Center of rotation of slider 6 with respect to link number 1 is at infinity along a line perpendicular to its line of stroke. So we will join these two corresponding lines 15 and 16. 1, 5, 1, 6. So we have plotted all the obvious ICs. Let us count the number of ICs we have plotted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now no need to plot the remaining non-obvious ICs because total number of I centers in a mechanism consisting of 6 links is equals to n n minus 1 divided by 2 okay n n minus 1 divided by 2 so there are 6 number of links so 6 6 minus 1 5 divided by 2 so total number of ICRs for this mechanism are 15 but we will not plot all the ICs because it is not required as per the problem statement now which ICRs to be plotted for that you need to re uh, read the problem statement at this stage after you have finished with the obvious ICs I will read the problem statement Omega AC that is angular velocity of link number 2 is given as 5 radian per second in clockwise direction so I will write here 2 Velocity of link number 2 is known and I want to determine velocity of link number 4. So we want this IC I24 to determine velocity of link number 4 from the known velocity of link number 2. So let us see 